So I've just gotten into New Zealand, Auckland International Airport. It was a long, tedious flight of 17 hours, of which I did not sleep very much. Um, but yeah, so finished the US in 26 days, I believe, over 5,500 kilometers. She almost, yeah, almost 6,000 kilometers. I've got to add it all up, I haven't done that yet. Uh, and I'm just here in a little motel room where I'm going to sleep because I haven't slept in 24 hours. And I'm really, 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 really tired. Um, but the US was amazing. I loved it. And uh, I'll give it to you in a nutshell. The US was gale force headwinds for about, I would say, 70% of the time. And uh, rain, off and on, which wasn't too bad. I didn't mind the rain. I minded the wind a lot more than the rain. And uh, roller coaster hills for a lot of it, um, except for the middle part where it got a bit flat, and that was nice. Uh, 10 flat tires. Gear shifter problems, broken spoke, uh, two bad falls from little tiny gravel in the road, um, which you didn't see till it was too late, and sent me skidding across the pavement, and I got nice skid burns down the entire side of my body. That was pretty funny. It was funny because <laughs> my friend who was near at the time came running up, and so I played dead, and he thought uh, something really seriously happened. He said, oh my god! And I just like lay there like like roadkill until until he started to really panic and then I sort of got up laughing and he was like, No, it's terrible, that's not a joke. Anyway, it was funny. Haha -ha, Jesse if you're watching this. <laughs> and uh oh yeah, first bad dog attack. This dog just came tearing out of nowhere and it was walking along the sidewalk with its master and just came tearing up and I was on a highway of all things, going up a hill, so I couldn't run. Couldn't go very fast. And he came and he tried he was trying to chip up uh, trip up my wheels, so he was literally coming under my bicycle, right into the highway, and his master's all like, Noki, don't do that, Noki, Noki, come back, bad dog, and I'm like, you know what, if your dog has a pension for chasing cyclists, put it on a leash, that's all I gotta say about that, and, uh, uh Starbucks coffee, get me going, America does not have good coffee, <laughs> sorry guys, but you <laughs> need to up your, your espresso game, take a lesson from the Italians, and uh, the nicest, most generous people I've come across yet. The Americans were, were just really so nice. Like, I couldn't stop, you know, for five minutes and there'd be someone, you know, right, can I help you, handing me money, feeding me, come home for dinner, come home, stay the night with us, just really, really cool people. I have to thank the Americans for their hospitality and their generosity. Really, really cool people. And, uh, however, despite all of that, I had the most amazing experience, just stunning empty landscapes with nothing and nobody. And, uh, you know, you just felt that sense of wilderness. Uh, there's still so much of America that's quite unexplored and uncivilized in some senses. And, uh, so yeah, just land that went on forever. and. You know, I got to ride into the sunset every night and some beautiful sunsets uh, past the Rockies. That was a highlight. You know, after the climb, you get these long downhills and you just, ah. Oh, I can't, ex I just, I can't describe it. You have to do it. <laughs> and uh, just incredible rock formations just come jutting out of nowhere uh, as you go through Wyoming, Idaho. I have to say those are probably my two favorite states. Uh, definitely going to go back there. I think I'm going to go back and do some rock climbing when I'm done this. And, uh, and the Snake River, just winding through next to the highway. A thousand springs, so you just have these big jets of water just shooting out of the rock. And uh, no, incredible stuff. So yeah, that was America. And it was definitely not letting me go without a fight. I had a broken spoke on the very last day, so I cycled the entire day with a broken spoke and got another flat tire. Um, but despite that, I came, I saw and I conquered. So, America, it's been a rare pleasure. I salute you. I look forward to seeing what 
New Zealand will throw in my path.